Hare Krishna. An Indian politician has, uh, has made a controversial statement. He has said, Lord Ram never existed. I don't believe in Lord Ram and I don't respect Lord Ram. But being the politician he is, he adjust, he tried to adjust things by saying, I respect Valmiki Rishi and Tulsi Das, but I don't respect Lord Ram. Lord Ram is just a fictional character created by them to spread their good message in the society. So this statement is like saying, I respect Gandhiji, but I don't respect India. I do not accept India. Fact is, if you have to, if you really respect Gandhiji, you have to respect his country also because that is the dearmost thing for him. Now, if you look at Tulsidas and Valmiki Rishi, they were great devotees of Lord Ram. They were living and breathing Lord Ram. So now, if somebody says that I respect Valmiki Rishi and Tulsidas, but I don't respect Lord Ram, this will never be pleasing to them. If you really respect them, you have to respect Lord Ram also. And then, if we say that the message of Ramayana is very good, but I don't respect Lord Ram. But what is the message of Ramayana? The me central message of Ramayana is, Lord Rama is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And anybody who does not respect him, anybody who does not accept him as such, then uh, such people, uh, they will be vanquished. Just like look at Ravana. Ravana never respected Lord Ram. Ravana never accepted Lord Ram as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. What happened to him? He is considered a great villain. Now, we have to understand that to become a devotee of Lord Krishna or Lord Ram, personalities like Mirabai, personalities like Tulsi Das, Valmiki Rishi, it's not very easy. You have to have very high qualities, very high caliber to be able to become such devotees. And if you become such great devotees of Lord Ram and Lord Krishna, you will become glorious, you will become glorified, you will become famous. Now, if I am unable to come to that standard of becoming a devotee, then what is an easier path to become famous? Follow in the footsteps of Ravana and Kamsa. Why? Because as long as Lord Krishna and Lord Rama are famous, Ravana and Kamsa will also be famous. So, if I cannot become a Mirabai or if I cannot become Valmiki Rishi or if I cannot become Tulsi Das, what shall I do? I will follow in the footsteps of Ravana and Kamsa and I will decry Krishna and Lord Ram, thinking that this will make me famous. So, persona non grata, people who have no standing in society, people whom nobody listens to, they can make such, such nonsensical statements, we should not get carried away by them. On the other hand, we should always be guided by the words of great personalities like Valmiki Rishi, Tulsi Das, Vyasadev, Madhvacharya, Ramanujacharya, all of whom accepted Krishna and Rama are actual personalities and they are the supreme personalities of Godhead. We all have to surrender to them and we have to become their devotees. This is the central message of Ramayana. This is the central message given by Valmiki Rishi and Vyasadev and Tulsi Das and all such great devotees. So, please let us follow in the footsteps of such great personalities and become devotees of Lord Krishna and Lord Rama. Thank you. Hare Krishna.